Hello everyone, my name is Raven, and welcome to Raven6 and Ava for Gaming, and as the title suggests, we're going to make a mod in Company of Heroes. Now, uh, this is only going to be like the first initial uh, setup. Uh, later on, um, we're actually going to actually cover creating a proper mod, but we're going to do something really cool uh, in this mod. And I'm going to save it as a surprise, but it's going to be fun. Okay, so, uh, the first thing we need to do is check the video description and click this link and then go to you can grab right here you can grab the uh, the all-in-one tool or you can grab everything individually and uh, yeah so we're gonna grab the all-in-one tool and this will actually be what you'll get the link to or well uh, uh, you can grab either or I'll have both I guess and we can go ahead and download this and then you know uh, run the extract it and then set it up and once it's set up uh, you'll have this, and you'll have Mod Studio. Ta-da! Here's Mod Studio when you launch it. You might get uh, some DLL errors. Uh, Google those. Uh, I'm not going to provide uh, issues or support for that. Unfortunately, it may or may not happen for you. It just kind of depends. But there's a lot of handy stuff that people have already solved. You just need two DLLs, and if you have 64-bit uh, Windows, it goes in SysWow, not System32. Uh, SysWow64. Okay, so, new mod. And the name of our mod is Company of Heroes Opposing Fronts. And our mod will be YouTube Mod. Because that just works. Okay, so now for the very long, long process of finding where everything is. Okay, go to Steam. Steam Apps, Common, Company of Heroes, and then we click OK. All right, and it more probably won't update here properly, but that's okay. And now hit cancel, hit create. Remember for this mod, use local, okay? Okay, so now our mod is made, and the description is the YouTube mod. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to navigate to our Company of Heroes folder. And I'm going to make sure it sorts properly. Alrighty. And we'll scroll down, and you see we have our YouTube module. And I already have Sublime open, so I'm going to use Sublime to uh, to modify this. Okay. And this is a module that someone else provided. It's a really good module, uh, and one of the updates that completely broke everything, uh, I suppose, in order to... Uh, it better so we're going to do a control H and we're going to search for test and we need to rename this to our mod so replace it with YouTube mod okay and then we're going to click replace all see now everything's nice and done and we're going to save that but we're not done yet we still have a few things left to do um, and you see how I have these test modules up here uh, we're going to need these but you guys won't have that so you guys will have to scroll up to find Relic DLC 1, DLC 2, DLC 3, and Ops. You can just ignore that one. And you want to grab those three. I'm going to use Test because, yeah, I want to use Test. Okay, I'm going to copy and I'm going to actually move them over here. And I'm going to just take out the Test bit. And I'm going to name it after whatever the mod is. So whatever you named it to be is what it's going to be. All right, let's scroll down here, make sure I got the name right. All right, and I'm just going to do this one at a time. And we're going to search. We're going to control H. We're going to search for the parent, <clears throat> the parent, which is test. And then we're going to replace it. And then we're going to save it. All right, now I'm just going to throw it over. And we're just going to do this for each one. It's kind of uh, kind of slow, but, you know, the initial setup, never, never uh, exactly the most thrilling thing in the world. And, whoops, I'm going to do another Control H. And we are going to place again. And save. And we don't have that anymore, so we can get rid of that. All right. Um, make sure I saved that. Yeah, I saved it. All right, awesome. All right, now we have both of those. And we're just going to do this for the next ones really quick. It should be pretty simple. Uh, you can use any editor to open these, by the way. You don't have to use Sublime. You use anything. You use Notepad. Uh, Sublime is just handy. Okay. 
Now what we're going to do next is we are going to go to YouTube mod and modify this very last one here. <sighs> yes, let's save. No, 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 no. Thank you. All right. And we're going to copy this over and we're going to resort these by name. And then I'm just going to open the last one. Just, just want to make sure. Always sometimes make a mistake. Okay. So now that we've done this, we need to do one more thing. Uh, let's minimize this right here. Uh, we need to go into our Company of Heroes folder up here. And this is the... Um, we need to get the language files. Otherwise, you just get a bunch of uh, broken strings. So... And we just want to copy this. And then we want to go back to Company of Heroes. We want to find our mods folder. And I have a bunch of other mods installed. And I apologize. but And we want to go to YouTube mod. And yeah, Talos is fine actually. Local. And then we just paste. There you go. I don't know why it can't just use uh, the default <laughs> for whatever Company of Heroes you have installed. But I mean, if you want to override it, I understand it. But why it can't do it on its own. If it can't detect the language file, no idea. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is, um, well, now that we actually, we can actually launch it right now, but it's not going to be any different because it's still the base game. So let's make it a little bit different, shall we? Okay, so the first thing we need to do is uh, down here where you see SBPS, click it, races, allies, soldiers, and we're going to create some super engineers. And we're going to find the engineers, and we're just going to double click them. And uh, I believe it. Oh no, I'm just checking here. Okay, yeah. So go to squad underscore loadout underscore extension or exe unit list unit one, and you can just have this. And you can see we have a minimum and maximum. I'm gonna set this to 20. And then down here you see save, and we're gonna click save. Okay, that's that's all we need from this particular one. Okay, so now we're gonna go up here to ebps and we'll explain this further in no tutorial it's kind of confusing we'll also use lua uh, instead of this mess that is the rgd system and races allies soldiers and we're going to find the engineer okay so this is basically like this this holds uh some of our data uh like uh, kind of like how the AI reacts, the squad size, etc. And this holds like our weapons, our line of sight, and we can actually like uh, we can uh, adjust this actually. So we'll turn on extended sight to true, and we could say I'm just gonna set this to 5,000. I think extended sight actually does when they're stopped. Uh, I I can't remember. I'm sorry. I apologize. That would be something you'd want to remember. But anyway, uh, I have extended sight turned on. We have a set to 5,000. So hopefully that will give our uh, engineers one heck of a sight boost. Okay, so now uh, we can go up to, say, health. And we can give them a lot of health. Uh, but we, what we really want to do is uh, let's see, go to combat underscore ext hard points, hard point one weapon table weapon zero one and you see we have the submachine gun which is the m3 now we're going to give them a much much better weapon we're going to give them the cali calliope weapon which is kind of ridiculous to give a engineer but we're going to do it anyways and it is found at the bottom under weapon allies ballistic weapons uh rockets there it is rockets there we go so uh, you need to get rid of this. And remember to always use the .lua extension, not the RGD. Uh, sometimes it doesn't work for me with the RGD, so I always use .lua. Okay, so we are in allies. And now normally it'd be best to like create a new entity that's like engineer and then build it. But for the sake of simplicity, we're just going to use the stock one. And we need to give it the correct file path and then rockets and then calliope.lua make sure we spelt everything I didn't leave anything out because if we got it wrong uh, our engineers are not going to have a weapon which would really really suck alright so now we can double click this and we can adjust everything from accuracy but we're just going to adjust the range 
I'm going to set the max range to uh, 1250. Awesome. File saved. Okay, so now we just need to make sure everything is saved. Okay, so now the next question is how do we launch it? If you have Steam, you can do this with the launch properties, but uh, I'm just going to do it using the launcher that I already made, and I made a shortcut, and obviously, if you don't know how to do that, uh, Company of Heroes, Relic, Send to, Desktop, and then I just threw it in the folder. Okay, and as you can see, I already put the extension in because I was testing another mod to make sure everything correct before I made the tutorial. So we need to do dash dev, and then we need to do dash mod, and then we need to give it our mod name, which is YouTube mod. And then we hit apply, and then we're going to hit OK, and then we're going to launch it, and we're going to wait, and I'm actually going to pause this, and I'm going to join a quick, or sorry, I'm going to make a quick skirmish match. Okay, so, uh... My extended sight did not work at all, but that's okay. Uh, as you can see, we have 20 engineers in a group here. So you can create some rather large squads, and we can't even build any new ones. We're also going to cover, uh, like, reducing the population count and stuff like that. Uh, uh, hold on a second. Making a tutorial. Shh. Okay. So, as you can see, we actually have an attack ground now. So we're just going to click here, and we're going to attack ground at their base. And now we're going to wait. And look at that beautifulness. I mean, is that not pretty or what? 20 individual units firing the Kelly of a barrage. Let's move it here. Enemy unit down. Okay, and I won. And yes, I do want to view the battlefield. Um... So there you go. Uh, there was some uh, really pretty engineers, and look at that. We actually captured an enormous amount of rockets. Um, yeah, uh, and we also we leveled that no problem. Um, Okay, so there we go. Uh, that concludes this tour. I hope you liked it. Uh, after this video, we're actually going to cover... Uh, let me just kill that. Uh, after this video, we're going to cover, um, you know, like uh, creating a proper mod. Uh, so if you have any suggestions on what kind of like mod or anything you want to make, uh, let me know. And then we'll go make that. I was thinking something maybe more like a, a slightly enhanced company of heroes. You know, more units uh, on screen with better, you know, suppression and more accurate damage, more realistic stuff like that. I know there's already mods like that, but it'd be cool to make our own. Uh, so that concludes this tutorial. Hope you liked it. If you like it, you know, thumbs up. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And also don't forget to share this video around, please. And the next thing is, um, don't forget to check the description. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Okay, so that concludes it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.